How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And is the Tale of the Nine-Tailed on Netflix? Now, released in South Korea in 2020, this TV series gained quick popularity with audiences through its edge-of-your-seat fantasy, romance, and horror. Now, if you want to join in the action, you can currently watch Tale of the Nine-Tailed on Netflix, but only in a few countries. And as you can tell right here, these are the countries that you can watch it in. And when trying to look it up on uh, Netflix, unfortunately, I'm not able to really find anything. So what I have to do in this case is simply use a VPN and in this case just connect to any of these countries and I should have access to Tale of the Nine Tail. Okay, so what you need is a reliable VPN in order to get successful access to Netflix. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation, your own budget and preferences. Uh, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate using one of these and that'll be ExpressVPN, which is what I like to use on the daily. Um, so let's go ahead and connect to one of these. So Australia is probably the best option right here since it's an English speaking library. Library. So I'll just go with that and let's go ahead and see what happens here. The moment I'm connected, all I need to do is refresh the Netflix library and that should be it. Netflix will now treat me as if I'm in uh, Australia and it should give me access to the Australian library. And there we go, Tale of the Nine-Tailed is now available. That is pretty much it. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund, but I can guarantee you that they all work remarkably well with unblocking streaming services, so no matter which one you go for you should be good to go besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day